On your mark. Get set. Go! These two teams are pouring green slime onto their partner's heads. Whoever's first to fill their cup past the slime line will win $20, and control of the only game show where getting slime can get you dollars. Double Dare. And now, here's your Double Dare host, Mark Summers. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Harvey, and thank you, audience. Welcome to Double Dare, the only show that dares you to win eight great prizes with the run through our crazy obstacle course. Only one team gets that chance. Why don't you say uh, with me, we'll say hello to the dipsticks, Jen and Beef. Hard to believe, Jen and Beef, yes. They're all uh, slimed up here. Uh, Jen likes to uh, ride horses, right? Yes. How often do you do that? Once a week. And you told me you like to cook. Yes. Any particular things? Mm, cakes, cookies. Sounds good to me. And uh, this gentleman, believe it or not, his real name is, uh, well, I'll tell you his real name, but his nickname and the name that everybody calls him is Beef. That's his name, folks. Why do they call you Beef? Because oh, I'm a... Because <laughs> you're a little what? Weighty, babe. You're a little weighty. I see. You know, my favorite part, Beef, is the green slime right in the center of your hair there. That's my favorite part. That's terrific. What do you like to do for fun, Beef? I like to play football, basketball, ski. Okay, that sounds good. And I should call you Beef, right? Right, yes. All right, I'll call him Beef. That's what he wants me to call him. Trying to stop their winning ways today, the Airheads, Chris and CB, right over here. <laughs> Who came up with the name the Airheads? We did. Both of you together? Yeah. What do you like to do for fun, Chris? Gymnastics. You're, uh, you're taking lessons in gymnastics, or you're no, just I naturally just talented? I just go. Just go. Okay, and CB, how about you? Um, I like sports. All right, you have uh, $20. You're uh, obviously a pretty good athlete already because that money is on the board. No money here yet, but... Something I said funny and I didn't even know it was funny. You will be winning some money along the way, I promise that. Let me tell you a little bit about a Double Dare. On Double Dare, a right answer gets you dollars, but a dare gets you double. And I will explain that further right about now. What you can do, I'm going to ask a question, and if you don't know the answer, you can dare the other team for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the bucks. And when that happens, they either have to answer the question or take the physical challenge. It's silly today here on Double Dare. Let's get started with the Airheads. $20 and control around one. According to their ads, if you deserved a break today, what restaurant would you get away to? It's worth ten dollars. There. There. Oh, okay. Well, some people aren't going to be happy about that. According to their ads, if you deserved a break today, what restaurant would you get away to? Double Dare. Double Dare. <laughs> Those ads aren't working like you think there, Madison <laughs> Avenue. Forty dollars to the Airheads, Chris and CB. According to their ads, if you deserved a break today, what restaurant would you go to? Physical challenge. I don't believe this. Audience, if you deserved a break today, what audi what uh, restaurant would you go to? Sure, you deserve a break today. Uh, okay, well, uh, maybe they need to change that. Uh, that's what we were looking for. Physical challenge for Chris and CB. Why don't you step down over here and we'll get started? There you go, Chris. Everybody to see what's going on. So once you turn around, face everybody. Now we're going to play a little game called Knock Your Cans Off. Uh, you ever played this before? No. Apparently not. Uh, knock Your Cans Off is sort of interesting. Can we get the ball to come down here? This is uh, come down, please. Down ball. What I'm going to ask you to do is to pull it back, and you're going to have to knock two out of those cans off. Okay, that's what you're going to have to do. That's good. Now let me try this. All right, I don't want you guys to, to win this. Uh, okay, now it, it go down just a shade, just a teeny, teeny bit. That should be good. All right, let me try it there. All right, that should do it. Uh, I didn't hit it, but that, that'll do it. All right, now what I'm going to ask you to do, if we have any time left on the show whatsoever, <laughs> is to take that and try and do it. All right, but we have to blindfold one of you. Who's going to be the lucky person to be blindfolded? Chris? All right, Chris, your job is to be blindfolded and to be over here. Now what you do, CB, is once the ball comes back, you have to grab it and hand it back to Chris. All right? You've got 20 seconds to get two out of those six cans down. All right? I'm going to hand you the ball first here, Chris. All right? On your mark. Get set, go! All right, get that ball going there. Maybe you'll hit one coming back. Oh, close, keep going, keep going. Hit it hard, hit it hard. Maybe on the way, oh, no, keep going. Oh, keep going. And five seconds left, keep trying at it. Keep going, one more time. Time is up, time is up. We didn't hit any, that means the $40 goes over here. It puts them on the board, and let's play some more double there.
Well, that has been tried before and gotten. It was just a little more difficult today than they expected. So $20 over here to the Airheads, and the set is falling apart today. It's a bizarre day, hon, Double Dare. $40 over here for the dipsticks. They are in control. Gin and beef, here's your first question. What car corporation is Lee Iacocca chairman of? Ford. Ford is incorrect. Chrysler is what we were looking for. Chrysler, and no money changes place because no dare was at stake, but control goes back to the airheads. Here's your question. What was the mouse's name who befriended Dumbo and coached him in his attempts to fly? Timothy. Together, very nice. Brings you up to $30, $10 behind, but you are in control. Timothy Mouse. Listen closely. If you had arachibutrophobia, what would you be afraid of? The fear of rackets, spiders, or having peanut butter stick to the roof of your mouth? Or you can dare them. Um, spiders. Spiders is incorrect. Arachibutrophobia means you have a fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, no money changes hands again, but control goes back to the dipsticks. And they do make up these names. I don't give them these names. Dipsticks and Airheads were their ideas. All right. The movie Amadeus was based on what musician's life? It's worth $10. Um, Mozart. Mozart is right. Brings you up to $50. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. How many meters in a kilometer? How many meters is a kilometer? Ten. Ten is incorrect. We're looking for 1,000. 1,000. Got to know your metric system. All right. Once again... The uh, control changes place back to Chris and CB. In The Wizard of Oz, who bites Miss Gulch at the beginning of the film? Toto. Toto is what we were looking for. That's right, Toto. $40, $50. Here's your next question. Lobsters and crayfish are members of what species? Are they mollusks, crustaceans, or party animals? <laughs> crustaceans. Crustaceans are what we were looking for. Another $10 ties the game. Party animals, I like that, okay. What was the movie sequel to 2001, A Space Odyssey? There. there. $20 to the dipsticks. What was the movie sequel to 2001, A Space Odyssey? 2010, Year We Make Contact. You got it. That's $20 for you. It brings you up to $70. You like those kind of movies, Beef? No, it's just that <laughs> I thought it was boring, but I know what I know. So. Thank you, Siskel and Ebert. Okay, here's your next question. In what state is gumbo a native special speciality? <laughs> there. Twenty dollars to the airheads, Chris and CB. In what state is gumbo a native speciality? Double there. Forty dollars back to Jen and Beef. And you're gonna you won't even let me say it again. You wanna get out there, huh? Gumbo is found in Louisiana. Louisiana. All right, Jen and Beef. Why don't we step over here and try a physical challenge? It's worth forty dollars. There you go, Jen. Gotta go. Well, you want to come on this side? All right, boy, are you full of slime? I don't believe it. Okay, this one is called uh, called weatherman. All right, and we call it because you get to predict the weather. All right, you, you ever want to be a weatherman? No, it's boring. But who cares? boring. Everything to, to this man is boring. Would you like to be a weather person? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make you official weather person then. All right. And uh, what we're gonna ask you to do is uh, put on some uh, some galoshes over here and put on a raincoat because we want to make sure you stay good and dry. That's really important. So why don't you sit down and do that? And uh, your job is to guide him into the direction of getting wet. Because what we're going to do is bring out our wonderful predictor. Who has our wonderful predictor? Is it out here somewhere? Yep. Oh, good. Susan's going to go back and get it. Why don't you put on the raincoat? And you're going to have to break three balloons in 20 seconds. That's your job. But the way you do it is sort of interesting. We're going to ask you to put on one of our wonderful Double Dare hats. Okay? <laughs> Just put that uh, right on your head. And on here we have a point. Uh -huh. All right? So what we're going to ask you to do is we're going to bring him over in our sliding chair. All right, and you can wheel him any direction you want, okay. and you can say stand, move your head to the left, move your head to the right, stand up, sit down, fight, 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 okay? <laughs> so we're going to do that. We're going to put him right over here. Is this the way we want this to go? Oh, oh it is now, okay. <laughs> Why don't you uh, just sit right over there? And uh, doesn't he look marvelous, I want to tell you. This man looks marvelous. Okay, and you uh, point him in the direction you want. Uh, we need a blindfold on this man as well. Isn't that the part of the situation? We're not going to do that. We'll have him covered. He won't have any idea where he is anyway. All righty. You got 20 seconds to get three balloons. It's worth $40. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, tell him to stand up, left, right. Oh, I got to get your hat back on. You got nine seconds. Beef, you're not doing it right. Tell him to sit down. Time is up. 
time. Whoa! Now he does it. Now he does it. Well, it's a little bit uh, too late and a couple of dollars short. As a matter of fact, $40 short. That's going over here. Brings him up to $90. Let's play some more double there. Well, that sound means it's the end of round one and not a minute too soon today. With $90, the airheads have the lead, but we're going to go away and come back with some crazy stunts, and uh, the money will get even larger. I promise that'll happen. Come back in just a few seconds here on Double Dare, all right? Hi, you're back. How nice. We have had a bizarre day here on Double Dare, but $90 uh, in the lead over here to uh, you guys are the uh, the airheads, right? Yes, and the dipstick, $70 over here, $20 separating first and second. What is at stake now? Well, I'm glad you asked. $40 in control of round two. What we have are uh, some bizarre little suits. I'm using the word bizarre a lot today. It's a bizarre word, and I'm using it a lot of times. Anyway, we have these... Uh, Bizarre suits. There it is again. Yes, it keeps popping up. And we have balloons that we have to stuff in these suits. They have to stuff 12 balloons and look like either the Michelin Man or the Stay Puff uh, person, Marshmallow person there. That's all you have to do. First person to get 12 balloons in their bodies. And uh, do, they ha do we have to zip them up, uh, Mr. Darby, our executive producer? Do they, they don't have to be zipped up. All right, just stuff them in there. I'm learning this game. It's been on weeks, and I'm learning it. All right, uh, we're about ready to do this. On your mark. <laughs> Get set, go! All right, get those uh, balloons in there. How many do we have over here? You're counting them for me. All right, I have no idea how many we have going in here. How many do we have over here? Six? How many do we have over here? Ten? Oh, they fell out. We have 12 over on this side. We have $40 and control of round two to the dipsticks. Unload yourselves, and let's play some more Double Dare. I'm sure there's a Dolly Parton joke here somewhere, but I'm not going to say it. All right, $40 goes over here to the dipsticks. They have 110. They also have control of round two, and you ought to see them feverishly trying to get out of these outfits and get the balloons out of their souls. Okay, well, here we go with our next question to Beef and Jen. In what country was William Shakespeare born? It's worth $20 now. England. That's right. Brings you up to 130. <laughs> Which of these fish is the slowest swimmer? Is it the seahorse, the eel, or the starfish? Star uh, starfish. We have to accept that. Starfish is incorrect. We were looking for the seahorse. It only swims 10 and a half inches a minute. There was no dare at stake, no money changes place, but we go over here to the airheads. They are now in control. Question is worth $20. What are the first names of the three members of the Norwegian band AHA? No audience answers, please. Morton, Pal, and Megs. You have that right. Very good. $20 separating first and second. The airheads are back in control, and here is their question. Skippy Handelman is the next-door neighbor to what TV family? The Keatons. That is right. $130 over there. We have a tie game. Tie game. Here's the next question. What canal connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans? It's worth $20 to you, or you can dare them. Panama, Panama canal. canal. For $20 is right. <laughs> CB and Chris are getting excited over here. The longest earthworm in the world can reach up to 11 feet in length and is highly prized as food. Where would you find one? Would it be in Australia, Brazil, or on the end of a very large fishing hook in Michigan? Um, there. there. All right, $40 to the dipsticks. The longest earthworm in the world can reach up to 11 feet in length and is highly prized as food. Where would you find them? In Australia, Brazil, or on the end of a very large fishing hook in Michigan? Australia. Is right for $40. <laughs> we have a seesaw game. $20 in the lead. Now back to the dipsticks. In the rhyme, who did the three blind mice run after? I know. The farmer's wife. That is right, for $20. 190 In 1775, Samuel Johnson published the first English one of these. There. $40. In 1775, Samuel Johnson published the first English one of these. Double there. For, uh, $80. $80 to Jen and Beef. In 1775, Samuel Johnson published the first English one of these. What is it? Take a physical dare. Physical challenge. It was the dictionary. 
It was the dictionary. $80 at stake. Let's go on down and play uh, a little physical challenge. We have, we have some interesting things that we find on our uh, prop list over here. And this is one. This is a little parrot. And uh, he makes a little face like that. He goes up and down. And you control him by the handle down here. We call this one Polly Wants a Cracker. You have 20 seconds to pick up three crackers and put them over here in the plate. Now, you can work together, putting them both in one uh, in two miles or whatever you want to do. You have to get three in 20 seconds. Take your parrot. Take your parrot. $80 at stake. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right, get those crackers up there. You may want to work together. You may want to do it together. Do it together. That's it. Do it on the edge. See if you can get those guys in there. you got 12 seconds. Oh, fell down. Go ahead. We got more up there. Keep going. Keep going. Almost. Four seconds. Keep going, gang. We can, oh, time is up. It, it is more difficult than it seems. $80 goes to the other side. That means they're $230. Let's play some more double there. That sound means the end of the game. And with $230, the Airheads have won today's double dare. It was by $40. It was uh, when you took the physical challenge. The $80 could have gone either way, and they went over here. So you guys get a chance at our obstacle course. We'll talk about that in just a second. Dipsticks, gin, and beef, you get to split the $190. That's pretty good for a day's work. And as you know, when you watch the program, everybody gets parting gifts. Harvey, tell them what they are. Mark, they both get a case of candies from the Bisco. Sugar Babies and Sugar Daddies. Delicious caramel. And at least get green slime shampoo. Gets you clean, won't turn you green. Now you can get slimed in your own shower. Plus the new Neptune's FM radio necklace by Electronique. A look, a sound, the jewelry you listen to, the radio you wear. And now back to you, Mark. Thank you, Harvey. Uh, here we are on the obstacle course. It's the one-ton human hamster wheel. That's where we're going to start. And have you folks decided who's going to go in there first? You're going to do it. All right. That'll be uh, happening just a matter of moments. For those of you who have uh, not watched the show, and gosh, I find that hard to believe, but uh, you'll be in here, and you'll be going around. All right. One-ton human hamster wheel. You'll light up these lights. First one, uh, first, uh, as soon as you get it to number six, easy for me to say, that uh, glove will come down, and we want you to jump up and grab that flag as quickly as you can. Do that, and you'll win this prize. A video game, a super value from Atari, the new Atari 7800 video game system that plays video games only a computer could play before. Second obstacle of the day is Inspector, Customs Inspector. And inside this trunk, we have a flag buried. What we want you to do, this will be closed. Open it up as quickly as you can. Throw those clothes everywhere. Find that flag as quickly as you can. And there is Jeffrey Giraffe, which means a gift certificate for how much, Harvey? Mark, a $100 gift certificate from Toys R Us, the world's biggest and best toy store. It's your favorite place to go with thousands of toys and tons of fun in every aisle from Toys R Us. Get that flag as quickly as you can and pass it on to your partner, and we have the fireman's flagpole. You'll come up our, fl our, our slide over here as quickly as you can and jump up on the platform. And then they have your basic old-fashioned clothesline. We need you to pull those flags in as quickly as possible. You'll notice there's a yellow and a green, a yellow and a green. You don't want those. You want the orange one. Get the orange one, pull it off the line, then come down the fireman's pole, pass the flag to your partner, and win this. An assortment of blue jeans. From Levi's, you'll get 501 button fly blue jeans that shrink to fit feel. You'll both get the 501 Blues from Levi's. As soon as you come down that pole, you're going to pass that flag to your partner, and they come into our famous slime canal. Now, it looks like a combination of jello and syrup today. That should be a lot of fun to dive into. One thing you have to remember, people tend to forget, is when you get under this pole, you can rip off that flag. Your partner can be waiting on the other side. Don't wait for your friend to come out. Pass that flag and win this. A new bike, the state-of-the-art Ross BMX Piranha for both boys and girls. For the kind of kid who rides hard and needs the best, Piranha BMX by Ross is the answer. Obstacle number five is the tank. Today we have water on the bottom and styrofoam peanuts on top, and it is the most bizarre sensation. So the water is only about six inches deep, and there's certainly a lot more peanuts than there are 
uh, than there is water. So get the flag over there, pass it on to your partner, and you'll win this prize. A portable TV. You'll be able to watch wherever you are with Sony's Watchman Portable TV. It's battery-operated, two-inch screen comes complete with its own ear jack. Put it in your pocket, watch your favorite show on the go, The Watchman from Sony. Quick hint, grab that flag before your partner comes out of the tank. Come over here to Desert Trike. We have, uh, gosh, we have <laughs> a bicycle over here, and we have a terrible-looking crab over there. Man has been watching some other network. That's why his eyes are bugged out. Watch Nickelodeon. You'll be better off. Okay, get the trike all the way across, uh, past the palm tree, reach up, grab the flag, and you'll win this. This super camera. Explore the wonderful world of photography with a Ricoh XF30 automatic 35-millimeter camera. Simply point and shoot. The Ricoh XF30 does the rest. Obstacle number seven today is the tire swing. You'll reach up and grab that flag and pass it on. Now, I must remind you that you cannot touch the ground. You have to grab on the upper part of the rope, put your feet in the swing if you'd like, and swing all the way across until you get to that uh, flag up there. Reach up, grab it, pass it on, and this can be yours. A new stereo from Sanyo. You'll get this AM FM stereo system complete with double cassette text and Dolby noise reduction. Now all your records and tapes will sound great from Sanyo. By the time you reach up and get that flag off the tire swing, your partner will be sitting all the way on the other side of our teeter-totter. When you get off the, the tire, come over here and sit on this side of the teeter-totter. Go down into uh, some whipped cream. There's a flower. How nice. And it says, mess with me. If you mess with this guy in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, tell him what they'll win. A fabulous Disney vacation. The luxury of Buena Vista Palace, an official Walt Disney World hotel located in the heart of Walt Disney World Village. You'll dine in award-winning restaurants, enjoy unlimited transportation throughout the vacation kingdom. CB, you all set to go? Yeah. All right, walk up that wall as quickly as you can. You got 60 seconds on your mark. Get set, go. All right, get going around there fast. Keep going, keep going. Go fast, keep going, go up that wall. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, keep going, jump up and get it. Jump up and get it, come on over here. Over here into the customs inspector. All right, fine. there's the flag, pass it on to your partner. Go on, up the slide, up the slide over here. All right, you wait down over here, Chris. All right, wheel it in, wheel it in. Get those flags, get those flags going. You got 37 seconds, you got 37 seconds. Grab it, come down, now you gotta come down the pole. Come down the pole, quickly, pass it on. Okay, go to the slime canal. Go to the slime canal, you can forget that flag. Get the flag. Pass it on. You got 22 seconds. Dive into the tank. All right, get the flag. Pass it over. Pass it over. Go through desert strike. Go through desert strike. Go across. You got 14 seconds. Come on out. Come on out. You got 11 seconds. Go on the other side. Go on the tire swing. Hurry up. You got eight seconds. Get on the other side. Get on the other side. Five. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh. I don't know. Did we get it? We did not get it. Time had run up. You got seven out of eight. Nice job. Let's hear it for him. Come on over here. Harvey. Harvey, tell them what they've won. Mark, they've each got the Atari video game, the Toys R Us gift certificate, the Levi's, the bike, the Sony Watchman, the 35-millimeter camera, a brand-new stereo, a prize package worth over $1,100 each. Tire swing took a little bit longer uh, than you might have expected. You did great. You got seven out of eight prizes. You had a good day up there money-wise. Thanks for being with us today on Double Dare. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Double Dare, because life is not a spectator sport. This is your announcer, Harvey, saying see you back here next time for the best mess around on Double Dare. Portions of the preceding show were edited but did not affect the final outcome of the game.